This is North Dakota Today. Good morning, welcome to North Dakota Today. I'm Anna Johnson, here, here with the incredible Jordan Schreier. Here we are, <laughs> just getting stuff situated on this blizzardy morning that we have here today. Oh yeah, oh schools my gosh. are canceled. Yeah, and it mm -hmm. just progressively got worse. At first last night, it was just like two hour lights that they yep. had, maybe some late buses. And then this morning, as we just started to get into things and into things, it yeah. just got worse and worse mm -hmm. and worse, especially I was tracking those road conditions this morning. You were. You had a lot going on this morning. There, they just got worse again as the Ooh. morning went on. So we are still in a blizzard warning uh, this morning right now, I believe. And so just a lot of bad things yeah. out there weather-wise, really. And I was woken up today with that phone call that most of you have had this morning that is like, school is closed today. We're switching to distance learning, which I kind of saw coming. I wasn't really surprised. The kids got to sleep in. Good for them. What is that like? Yeah, so I uh, I kind of was a bit surprised last night when they weren't called off yet because yeah, the blizzard no. warning had been put in place, but I think they just want to wait and see mm -hmm. if it really comes to fruition. Sure enough, our storm team had it, so yeah, kind of some not great conditions out there. Yeah, rolling across the bottom of your screen right now. We got those two hour lights and uh, the the blizzard warning, winter weather, all that sort of good stuff going on. So make sure you stay with us right here at Valley News Live. We'll keep you updated. Yeah, our screen just gets more colorful as the and, weather and hits the valley. And then we just get smaller and smaller <laughs> no, in, in our thing. And <laughs> so then we just get wider and wider as they start to do that Pretty too. Pretty soon it's so, just going to be heads. Yep, that's all that's going to be <laughs> like, left. Hey so guys, many alerts are coming in. There's some rough weather <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but speaking of uh, winter weather that we yeah. have here, you need the snow if you oh want to participate in the Winter Olympics. You do. And did you see yesterday it was negative 17 in China? Oh, no, I didn't see that. Surprise. So the uh, Canadian <laughs> and it uh, looks like Minnesota team members oh. are going to be well and North Dakota yeah, ones well good. prepared for what's going on over but there. But goodness, if there are some Southerners in there, it's yeah. going to be. It's going to be rough. Hopefully. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Because they're rehearsing out there, too, and the dancers are outside rehearsing. So. Oh, gosh. Yeah, a lot going so you just over gotta there. Gotta dance real hard. And we I are guess. getting a look this morning at the mm -hmm. medal designs for the Beijing 2022 Olympics. The gold, silver, and bronze have the logo Beijing 2022 on one side, and then the Olympic rings on the other side of them as well. Yeah. I don't know if we have Should some really video good. of what they look like uh, to show, but they, yeah. Either way, <laughs> we'll find oh. out. There they are. There they are. We'll find out what they look like soon enough. I'm sure when the uh, games get underway, because it yes. seems that Team USA always takes a Good boatload of them home. Yeah, feel free to bring them on back here to America and we'll look at them in person. And if you want to come on the North Dakota today with them as well, I mean, heck, I think we'd have yeah. maybe some people on. We've oh, had Olympians sure. on here before. We had the Lamaru mm -hmm. uh, sisters on. They have came with their medals. So Yeah, go U.S. hockey. Yeah, some good stuff. But uh, another big name mm -hmm. in the competition. Yep, Sean White. He's had a long and storied snowboarding career. He's been around a long time. So even when I was young, Sean White was out there and everyone was dressing like Sean White and everyone had the Sean hair White hair like Sean hair, Sean Everybody, White. Everybody, yeah. yeah. So he's going to Beijing this year. It's his fifth Olympic appearance and potentially his last one. So I know a lot of people are waiting to see if he comes home with a fourth gold medal. Uh, will his life be complete without it? Hard to say. I guess we'll find out. Let's take a look at what yeah. they have to say. I've accomplished so much. I feel like I've been through this roller coaster with the sport. You know, you're trying to make it to a certain level, and then it's all about like, well, how long can I hold and maintain this? So let's get into the head of Sean White. You need that turmoil. You need the ups and downs. I'm such a different person than I was. Sean White, one more hit. Will it be enough? I look at it now. I kind of got back to the basics, and that's kind of motivated me. There will be a time where I can't do this, and I want to enjoy it as much as I can until that day comes. Sean White takes the goal. You know, I'm just excited. I got more to do, so it should be fun. Get ready for it. Oh, man, the Winter, Winter Olympics, rather, are here on KVLY. We're super excited starting this week, which means the Ozone Show is coming up, too. Oh, yeah. Yes. And so just so that you're aware, um, I know that you love 
watching us at nine yeah. o'clock most <laughs> mornings uh, so we do have a programming note on Friday this coming mm -hmm. Friday February 4th things are going to be a little different we are going to actually start at 10 a.m. Yes. instead of 9 a.m. so we'll run from 10 to 11 and that's because of the mm -hmm. Winter Olympics that are happening on KVLY. Yeah. I may not be here Friday Bailey Hurley is probably going to step in and she is phenomenal. Well I so. will be here so hopefully yes. we will be holding down the fort again Friday 10 to 11 and so you're going to want to tune in Friday too because that's when we find out yeah. who's getting the Jurassic Quest tickets. It's Ooh. coming to the Alara Center in Grand Forks February 11th through the 13th. Valley News Live wants to send you there for free. We're giving away five family four packs of the tickets to the tour and you can register to win now. So do that. Go to valleynewslive.com. Click on the contest tab and like you just said, the winner will be here. Valley or North Dakota. I'm sorry. It's, it feels like a Monday. We Does do so many different like shoot, shows. It's hard to say which one <laughs> we're on at the time. Uh, but yeah, North Dakota today, Friday, yeah. we give away those tickets. Head to our website. That's where you can uh, get them. Get yep. a family four pack. Yeah, for sure. I mean, my kids would love it. I, I think most kids would love it. What yeah. you know what I mean? The very uh, mm -hmm. these big dinosaurs coming to life, and you get to see them in, in yeah. real life. You could say so. Uh, I think any family would like it. Uh, but speaking of animals, there is a new animal. You could say it's a special one, a it's first number, maybe. Th number three in the line of animals, well, I think. Number three for this one, but it's the first yeah. kitty. The first President kitty. Joe Biden and First Lady <laughs> Jill Biden have added a cat. Her name is Willow. She's two years mm -hmm. old, green eyed, gray and white tabby from a farm in Pennsylvania. Now, I had read this a little bit earlier this week. My understanding is Jill Biden was doing a, an event on stage and the kitty actually strolled up to the stage. And of course, once you see a cute little cat, you, like, you can't just send it back. You She's like, whatever, it. Pennsylvania, I'm taking the cat with me. So she took the cat, they brought it back to the White House. Now they did have two dogs. Um, the cat is number three in the White House, so they've had... Actually, one of the dogs lives at the home in, mm. uh, in Delaware. Yeah. Uh, so one dog is at the White House, the cat's at the White House, and then they have one dog still in uh, their home in Delaware. I feel like I'm on first pet watch. Yeah, seriously. That, that should be my beat. How oh many? Dr. Doolittle, <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Anyway, cute kitty, there it is yeah. up on your screen. Now the White House has not had a feline resident since India. That was President George W. Bush's kitty. How cute is that? So yeah, first cat. Do you have any pets? I have a dog. Mm. But uh, cats are nice, but I'm more of a dog person. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I don't really trust them. Oh. Do you, do you ever just like look at a cat and you think, what is in that brain? Like, I mean, what's what's also in a dog's right. brain? You and know, they always like, just seem like they're inconvenienced by you. They're like, thanks for the food. But <laughs> I have better things to do. They have, uh, I mean, I like petting kitties. I don't know, I kind of like all animals. They're okay. <laughs> don't tell that to Lisa Green, though. She has a cat that oh, she no. really likes. So. Summer has a cat, too, I believe. A lot of people yeah. around here have cats, so you got to watch where you say that from. <laughs> uh, but, no. oh, two. She has two Ooh, cats. Summer the, Schnellbach has two cats. Yep. yep, watch out there. It's going to be an interesting coffee break today. Yeah, you know what else is interesting? A man in Florida won a million dollars didn't tell his wife. Mm. Would you do that? I would divorce him. Oh, <laughs> well, you get $500,000 if you did. I'm sorry, if you don't tell me that you won a million dollars, we're not married anymore. Well, and the other side of the story is he was like, I'm just going to wait till they hand me the big check. Oh, and then I'm okay. going to bring the big check home so that when he's like, I want a million. And she's like, I'm, okay. yeah, right. So a surprise, okay. It's a right, surprise, right, right. just kidding. Then I'd stay. Yeah, uh, oh, good. Yeah, now I'd stay. But I thought you meant like he won a million and just no, kept just it like from her left. forever. I was like, mm-mm, that ain't going to go well. Went to the Bahamas. Uh, no. no, but okay, yeah, a surprise. That's neater. That's, yeah. a, neat, that's a neat twist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he won it, um, and he's supposed to get the check on the news. He wants to surprise her in a big way. I mean, that's a good way to go to be like oh honey just make sure you watch the news tonight at six. Oh my gosh and then you just like handed a million dollars I think if I was his wife I would be jumping crying happy tears and picking out some handbags so. <laughs> paying off the mortgage maybe maybe going <laughs> I mean, on a I trip I mean I guess too. that's more responsible yeah I guess maybe potentially <laughs> and handbags but but yeah I mean this is a this is a way to surprise and uh, in case you're wondering, he's getting the lump sum payment after taxes, walking away $820,000. That is actually less taxes than I anticipated. I also anticipated that he was only going to walk away with like 700000 yeah. or something like that. So, I mean, heck, they only took 200 and some, I guess. No, 100 yeah. some. 
So yeah, anyway. It's not the worst. I mean, I'd still take it. Uh, yeah, I'm I think if someone like, forced mm, it in my hands, I'd be like, thank right. you, and then take go on my with my day. Anyway, so some good stuff. Use that to get away the Bahamas right now, cold outside. Oh anyway, gosh. coming up on today's show, uh, some pretty good stuff. We have how organizations across the state are working together to protect our children. Yep, but first we're gonna take a look at your local steals and deals.